Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and expectations high in both camps. We are in this super stadium for a super club, truly one of the iconic buildings of 21st century sport, the Allianz Arena. And as you can see, we've already started here. And he's there to clear it. Hoists it forward. Coleman. And it's played forward. Has he found his man? Coleman. It is deadlocked. Goes direct to the front line. This could spell danger. Cleared without complication. That's been drilled forward. Plays it out to the wing. McLean crosses it. And the keeper's in command. Whelan. He's a clever pass. Looking for a corner. has crossed the line and it's a throw a chance to play it in over to the left McLean it's a clearance but not much of one away from immediate danger and the first half is done so now the team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And we're off again. Ireland playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. McLean gets his foot in there. Whelan tries to get it forward quickly. Whelan goes looking. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Hendrick. Last-ditch 
much defending, but that'll do. Forward it goes. Knocks it away. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets into a dangerous position. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Coleman. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. And out to safety. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Crossed in. Tries to get it clear. Hendrick. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Ireland desperately need a goal, and this could well be their last chance. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. Fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. Into extra time we go. Oh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Forward it goes. Cuts it out. to locate someone up front. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's played forward. Defence has got rid of that. Now a chance to break. Quick run, tries a shot! Signal that is for the opposition. There really isn't much time to get a goal back now. Talking about drama. That's it for the first period of extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not only less competitive. Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? 
It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. Looks to bypass the midfield. Drives it towards the front. Either side really getting hold of the ball. It is just a question of running down the clock now. McLean. Hoists it forward. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. It's being played forward. And the referee brings it to a close. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Which will have you reflect on what we've seen. Yeah, and the result that was true to form, a big team beating a, a not so big team, and the lesson dealt. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and good afternoon all.